Good morning to you. Today is January the 16th, 2024, and um, I wasn't going to pop in. <laughs> uh, normally, I do heart health um, Mondays, and today is Tuesday because yesterday we celebrated. Um, I took the celebration of honoring Dr. Martin Luther King, and I remember as a child going to um, one of one of the programs that we had in grade school. And I remember sitting in the bleachers and just feeling um, an overwhelming joy, um, talking, listening, listening actually about Dr. Mar Dr. Martin Luther King and what he stood for. And um, over the years, I learned more about um, who he was, um, a historical figure, empowering, inspiring, um, captivating with his voice, his message, um, honoring um, equality and freedom. And, um, you know, I've been to the Rain Motel uh, several times and listening to what happened, um, you know, when he transitioned from here to the spiritual world. And I was actually thinking about uh, this morning doing my prayer and meditation. Uh, and actually one of the thoughts that came to me was that um, we are not to fascinate ourselves with our teachers, even though inspiring, uh, empowering, educational, but to fascinate ourselves with who they are teaching about. Fascinate ourselves with the, the message itself. And the messages that I was just thinking about, you know, prominent people in, you know, America's history, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Louise Hay, um, you know, people that I've even read about James Allen and, you know, and as a man think of, and you think about their messages that they've taught, you know, and, and it aligns with with those very same concepts that Dr. Martin Luther King taught. Equality, freedom, um, our mental state, our mind, and how that um, determines our actions, you know, how we treat ourselves, how we treat others. Um, thinking about loving one another, you know, when you think about freedom and equality, that's what Dr. Martin Luther King was at the essence, at the core, is our greatest commandment is to love one another because in love, we do not dishonor people. In love, we do not remember their wrongs. We have compassion. We have hope for the future. Um, and the very same things that I thought about this morning with the Bible, you know, Jeremiah 29, 11, you know, he, our creator wants us to have a future and a hope that when you think about it, I believe it's in John 10.10, 10, um, the book of John, that uh, Jesus came so that we may have life more abundantly. You know, that um, when I think about things like that, that yes, I am so grateful to have known Dr. Martin Luther King, know about him, at least know about him, to know about all these other people that have spoke, that have spoken the truth. Um, I'm so grateful to even have known about Jesus Christ. But the ultimate message, the message is of love, to love one another. And when I think about fulfilling our divine purpose, that's what we're here to do when we talk about service to one another, when we talk about writing books, when we talk about speaking to others, helping to edify them, to build them up, words that are also in the Bible. <clears throat> that we are speaking that divine message. You know, I believe that we all, um, our spirits are light, clothed in human form. For, and everybody has this human form for a specific reason, from head to toe, our design, our master, the, our masterpiece, our, our bodies, um, that are the vehicles for our message that design our nose, our eyes, everything about us 
has a specific divine purpose. Our gifts and our talents are helped to manifest this love. And through expressing our gifts and our talents, we are to see the message. The spirit that created all of us. And to reflect and manifest this message through our voices, through our actions, through our listening to one another, through helping each other to express the divinity within them. So when I think about Dr. Martin Luther King, yes, I honor his life. And yes, he opens the door for us to go beyond and to think about what it is that he spoke about, what it is that he fought for, what it is that he lived for, his captivating voice, what it is that he spoke about, is what we all are to speak about in some form of another. We may not achieve the status of Dr. Martin Luther King. As a matter of fact, we may go beyond it. But that isn't our thought. Our thought is, is to accomplish that which we are here to do. Our thought is, thoughts are to align ourselves, ourselves with this power to remember why we're here, to break the cycle of pain, to create a generational love cycle, to honor our diversities. When we talk about diversity and inclusion, if we remember who we are and what we're here for, we will honor the diverse nature because we know that everybody is here clothed as, clothed as the way they should be. I pray today and every day that our eyes may open. Yes, see the people that stood and stand above, around us, the spirits. To see America's history and those that knew there was a different way of living our lives, knew that life shouldn't be in pain. And when I say pain, I'm not talking about ankle pain. I'm talking about discriminatory pain. I'm talking about divisiveness. I'm talking about greed. I'm talking about um, violence and hatred. Um, believing that we're not enough. Low self-esteem, low confidence. I'm talking about all of that because in essence, love addresses it all. That we are all here to manifest the truth. So in honoring Dr. Martin Luther King and honoring you know, many of our, our great people that stood up for what is right, in honoring Dr. Martin Luther King, I see others that are here. And it's not to belittle what he has done, it's actually to magnify what he has done along with other people that have spoken the truth, that have honored Equality, compassion, love, freedom. Freedom to be who you are. Freedom to experience life. That's what I think about. And that's what I'm most grateful for. And that's what I felt yesterday. That overwhelming freedom to be who I am, to live. And I hope that you feel the same way. I hope that you know, too, there is this divine presence within you that loves you, that you are here for a reason, for a purpose, and that you have a message to share. The message that we all are sharing in some form or fashion, in a unique way, because that's who he is. He is diversity. 
He is compassion. And I say he because that's what I grew up with. But you could say it. Whatever you may call it, remember, it's not about what you call this power, but it's what you believe in, good or evil. And I hope you see the good in yourself, that you see the good in others, that you see the good in this lifetime. As always, make this lifetime great, because no matter what has happened, you still can. And the way we do that is that we change our thoughts. We assess our thoughts, we spend time, quiet time with ourselves, and we listen to the divineness that is in us, that is always willing and ready to speak to us, to hold us, to carry us, to walk with us, to talk with us. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care of yourself. You deserve hope. You deserve a future. You deserve an abundant life. And may this year be the year of many years that you believe that, that you see it, and that you live it, and that you see it in others. We'll talk to you guys soon.